the latest gadgets are probably on a lot of wish lists for kids this holiday season. Right, but if you're a parent, as we all are, you yes. know students can get distracted by technology to the point that their schoolwork suffers. Yeah, joining us now via Skype is Jean Burke, author of The College Prep Genius. Jean, good morning to you. I am so glad you're here, by the way. As you mentioned, we're all well, parents. <laughs> we're all parents here. I have a five-year-old who knows the password to my iPad. My sister gave me a lot of, you know, flack when I was using a calculator growing up. And, but how much technology is too much right now for kids these days? Well, you know, we're finding that younger kids are spending about eight hours a day on a cell phone. Uh, teens, about 11 hours a day. It's, it's a lot, you know. With, these things can dumb us down, but you know what? We're really smarter than that. And about two-thirds of all 11 to 17-year-olds are going to bed with their cell phones. And they're not doing homework. You know what they're doing? They're texting, talking, watching movies, and so it's, it is starting to cause some problems. But everyone these days, you know, uh, all the parents of the kids who are old enough to have them, they all seem to have them anyway for safety reasons. You know, you call your mom and, uh, or dad to pick you up or tell them where you are, and also teachers are increasingly beginning to expect kids to have their own cell phones so they can look things up. Well, that's true, and, and they do have a purpose and a place, like all technology, uh, but they also can be overused. Young minds are still developing. You know, their, their, their nervous system, uh, you know, is still in stages to where uh, too much of one thing is going to interfere with their development. It's going to impair their judgment. And, you know, used to, uh, teenagers and young people could uh, basically leave their influence, their, their friends, their peers at home, uh, shut the door when they get home, but now, you know, they're, they're being influenced 24-7, so uh, there's a lot more going on than just using your phone just to, to, to check in for safety. Jean, can we talk about the two issues of retention and problem solving? You talk to any teacher out there, and they'll tell you that today's generation of elementary, middle, and high school students, they don't have the problem solving skills they are going to need as adults. Has Google ruined us? We're not actually learning, we're just looking it up. Well, you know what's happening is um, critical thinking skills are being sabotaged by this, what we call digital amnesia. You know, the, the devices do it all the thinking for you. And you know, I've been teaching kids on how to get free college, how to ace the SAT for 11 years, and those are critical thinking tests. And students are losing those because what's happening is, uh, based on many, many years of study, they're finding that students who do all their work on some kind of technological device, whether it's a phone or a computer, uh, these kids uh, can't even answer conceptual questions. So those necessary skills and those soft skills that students need, um, they're losing those. And so, you know, we, right now, 93% of the world has a cell phone and only 25% of the world has a college degree. So we're, these teachers are finding that these kids uh, not only um, can use it in classroom, but on the, on the flip side of that, they're so fatigued because when they take these devices to bed with them, those lights that emit from the, the phone actually trick the brain into thinking uh, that it's awake, that it's daylight. And so the kids are very tired and they're definitely suffering in school. Well, Gene, I mean, you mentioned it yourself. I mean, 93% of people have cell phones or tablets and uh, being a parent, I mean, where is the happy medium? We all know that we're gonna be using these in the classroom. I mean, and a lot of teachers, I mean, at least that I know of, use these in the classroom as well. So do we, is there a specific time where, we, where kids can use an iPad or a cell phone? I mean, what do you, what do you recommend? I recommend that, yes, I think it goes back to the parent. You know, it takes courage to be a parent nowadays. And you're not their friend. You know, your job as a parent is to love your kids, nurture, guide, direct them, and to raise kids that you want to be friends with as adults. And so you do have to take control. Number one, model it yourself. You know, if you're on your phone 24-7, that's not a good example for your kids when you're telling them to put it down. Um, you can also create tech-free zones uh, you know, whether it's a four to seven o'clock hour when the kids are coming home and doing their homework and, you know, getting ready for dinner, uh, whether it's after nine o'clock, whether it's the car, whether it's vacation time or all the above. But I think you have to set times where the kids need their brains to rest. They, they need that quiet time uh, because it's going to help them bear out the truth. It's also going to give them creativity. You know, a lot of times these devices stops, um, stops boredom 
but we need that creativity. Uh, that's what that's what you know. These great people who invented these things, you know, they didn't sit around on technology. They invented it, but then they came up with the idea that wait a minute. There's right. also dangers, too. Right. Gene Burke, thank you very much. for Those are some pretty good suggestions. Yeah. I'm going to use thank some you. of them. Uh, College Prep Genius, uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.